<laughs> Anyways, now for my story. Um, Anyone? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so this comes back uh, in high school. I was bamboozled. I was playing chess on the chess team. And it's board one in this tournament, which is like court one in tennis, like the important spot. And I was playing against the team from Illinois Math and Science Academy, IMSA. So they think they're all smart. And, everything. <laughs> and so... Uh, what happened was, you sit down, this is where I'm going to play, this is my opponent, and I open up my board, it was actually this one, oh. and, sticker, the visual eight, yeah, yeah, and first thing I did was I unrolled my board, and since I'm playing as white, I set A1, uh, where is it, H, A, <laughs> I, set, <laughs> I, set, I set A1 right here to my left. Because when you're playing white, that should be there. And when you're playing black, it should be opposite you. And that's to help you so when you take notation during the game, you can say what pieces move to what squares. And you take notation so if there's ever a discrepancy, you can replay the game. So I make sure that's in my left-hand corner, and then I reach down and I pick up my bag probably to get the pieces, which are in here. And at that moment, I got bamboozled. We'll see how in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> and so then we, we take out the pieces and we put the rooks and then the bishops and the knights out oh, actually the rooks the knights then the bishops the king and queen and then the pawns in front and since I'm white I take the, the pawn that's in front of my king and I move it forward to this square uh, from right here e2 to e4 classic opening move but the problem was <laughs> but the problem was it didn't say e4 when I looked at this and then this, it was flipped around so that it actually said, like, D4. I'm like, that's not a good thing. So I said to my opponent, I'm like, hey, man, look what we did. We kind of messed this up. He's like, ah, it's not a big deal. Just play on. I'm like, okay. Uh, I'm like, I didn't want to be like, uh, this is too much for me. It's going to distract me. Let's play on. I bent to that peer pressure. And so we, and then we played the game, and I narrowly lose. It was a good game. And then, later in the tournament, I'm talking with one of the other members from that team. And I'm like, hey, you know, I played with your board one, and we messed up when we set it up. It was really funny. He's like, oh, i got to tell you, he actually did that on purpose to you. Yeah. He said, when you weren't looking, he spun the board around on you. <laughs> and so, he's prepared for that to happen, so it's not a surprise for him. That gives him just a little bit of advantage when he plays. So, that is how... Cutthroat high school chess was <laughs> in the mid to late 2000s. <laughs> so, whenever you're playing a formal chess game, make sure the, the A1 is to white's left. And that is how I got bamboozled. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, there's one more step. Um, so, and then a few months later, in another tournament, I happened to see that guy in like the hallway in between games. I'm like, Hey, I remember you. He's like, yeah, I think I remember you. I'm like, I'm wise to the fact that you like to spin the boards around now. He didn't say anything. He just looked straight ahead and kept walking. It didn't <laughs> 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 So thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs>